Hi guys, have you ever seen these before? Well, these are auto injector pens and these are what somebody would carry if they have a severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. Now watch this video all the way to the end and we're going to explain what anaphylaxis is, how to recognize the signs and symptoms of it, and also more importantly, how to treat somebody who is suffering from a severe allergic reaction, otherwise known as anaphylaxis. Okay, without further ado then, let's talk about it. Any substance that triggers an allergic reaction is called an allergen. And common allergens include things like nuts, fruits, latex, dairy products. Now let's have a look at the signs and symptoms then of an anaphylactic reaction. Because they can include things like itchy skin or a raised red rash, swollen eyes, lips, hands and feet. They might feel lightheaded or faint. They might have narrowing of the airways, which will cause them to be very wheezy when breathing. And of course, they're going to have breathing difficulties, maybe even abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. And also they could collapse and become unconscious. Anaphylaxis should always be treated as a medical emergency. You must call the emergency medical services instantly. Then you're going to get their auto injector pen for them to use. And there are different types of auto inject pens on the market. There is one called the EpiPen, then there's a Jext, then there's the Emiraid. Now the Jext and the EpiPen will operate the same way, whereas the Emiraid, in my opinion, is a little bit easier to use. They all have the same medication inside there, but there might be measured doses of medication that are different from person to person. So let's have a look at how we use it. Always make sure we've called the emergency medical services when you know someone is experiencing a severe anaphylactic reaction. You then get them to sit down in whatever position is comfortable for them. You're going to support their leg because you're going to inject this injector pen between the knee and the hip on the outside of their thigh, making sure you avoid the hem. The needle will be designed to go through clothing, so you don't need to remove any layers of clothing, it will go through clothing and you hold it in there for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you can release it and then I'll give it a little rub and just to massage it. The auto injector pen cannot be reused. Now it's very important the person always carries two auto injector pens everywhere they go because one might not be enough for three reasons. One, you might not have injected that correctly. You might have missed. The person might have screamed and moved and you haven't got that medication in there. Second reason, you might have actually injected it into yourself. You've got the pen the wrong way around and inject it into your finger. Or three, you might need their second pen because inside there's a very small dose of medication. And the ambulance, yes, you have called them, but they can take a while to get there. So they recommend you can administer the second dose after five minutes if needed and you will know it's needed because they'll be struggling to breathe again. Now the Jex pen works exactly the same way as the EpiPen. The other pen, the Emiraid, in my opinion is a lot easier to use because it's only got one end. So the needle does come out the end, you take the cap off. To me that makes more sense. And then you do exactly the same thing. You swing and jab in exactly the same place on the outer thigh halfway in the hem. Now I've told you to hold them all for 10 seconds and I'd always encourage you to hold them for 10 seconds but each pen does have a different time just to confuse you even more. The Emiraid, the white one, is actually only 5 seconds. The EpiPen is actually only 3 seconds. The Jex, however, must be held for 10 seconds. So I suggest you just hold them all for 10 seconds. It saves any confusion. Don't forget we produce weekly videos, so please hit the subscribe button just up here and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out.